Hard drives are just getting larger and larger nowadays. I mean, Seagate and Western Digital have freaking 10 terabyte drives. Yes, 10 terabytes. To put things into perspective, that's over 212 DVDs or 1,428 CDs. We don't really use discs anymore, but I thought that that would be a nicely exaggerated example. So, that being said, that begs the question, should you go with one hard drive or multiple smaller ones? Capacity-wise, not physical. Now there are tons of pros and cons to each solution, but let's not forget about the main purpose of a hard drive, the safe storage of our data. Whether it's schoolwork, vacation photos, or home videos, it's never easy losing your data. Heck, even losing your application preferences and having to reinstall everything is a major pain in the butt. With that in mind, let's start by taking a look at the pros and cons of using just one high capacity drive. The main benefit of one drive is simple. Less cable management, less heat, less vibrations, less noise, and you only take out one drive slot. The downside is that if the drive ever fails, you're gonna lose a whole lot of data. Backblaze has some amazingly detailed hard drive statistics, so let's use them as our reference. Looking at their data from 2013 to 2016, their annualized failure rate of all hard drives is 2.02%. That means you have a 2% chance of losing 10 terabytes at once. And that's for hard drives located in their pristine servers under ideal situations. Does that mean you should use 10 one terabyte drives instead? Well, not necessarily. Just the thought of cable managing 10 hard drives is enough to give someone a nightmare, let alone finding a case with good airflow with 10 drives installed. Well, that's a stupid comparison. Let's take a look at a more realistic compromise. Five two terabyte drives. When you split up your data among multiple smaller drives, you now have a 2% chance of only losing two terabytes of data at once versus 10 terabytes at once. That sounds great, but like we mentioned before, you now have five times the amount of noise, vibration, heat, and cables than you did earlier. The next thing to look at is price. Unfortunately, prices for hard drives don't scale linearly. Two terabyte drives cost about $100 on average in Kanakistan dollars, which works out to be $50 per terabyte of storage. 10 terabyte drives, however, range from $700 to $800 a drive, which ends up being anywhere from $70 to $80 per terabyte. If you're on a budget, then multiple smaller drives are more affordable. And finally, let's take a look at future expandability. Just like RAM, it's much easier to upgrade when you have slots available. So, the less hard drives you have in your system, the easier it is to add in more in the future. So, what's the conclusion? Well, in an ideal world, you should be backing up all of your data, and that means multiple copies of your files across different storage mediums. And that means you can mitigate the main downside of a large capacity drive by simply backing up your data. If money was no object, then buy two 10 terabyte drives and call it a day. But for the rest of us, the answer is pretty flexible. The sweet spot when it comes to dollars per terabyte is a four terabyte drive, coming in at around 43 to 45 dollars per terabyte. Four terabyte is plenty of storage for most users, and even if it wasn't, you could afford to get four four terabyte drives for the same price as one 10 terabyte. More full size and mid side tower cases will easily fit three to six hard drives as well without compromising airflow to your graphics card or processor. And this gives you an extra drive or two to actually back up your data. And if you're buying a bunch of new drives all at once, then you can easily look into a RAID setup. This is a great way to combine both storage and backups and something like a RAID 5 array lets you combine the storage of multiple drives into one while still offering redundancy in case one drive fails. And hopefully in a few months or a year's time when you fill up those 4 terabytes, the larger capacity drives will get more affordable. Just remember, no matter what approach you take, back up your data. Thank you so much for watching, click over here for previous videos, check us out on Twitter over there, but as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.